Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hi, Kevin. And I'm Ralph behind the camera. You're welcome to Cavalcade of Food. Thank and you. And it's pie bacon time, yes, Ralph. Yes, it is. It's that season. And um, we are doing a pumpkin pie, very traditional. We have the recipe on Cavalcade years ago. Okay. Not too um, spicy, just kind of a just, nice pumpkin-y pie yeah. with a um, touch of cinnamon. The touch of cinnamon. And but vanilla. in addition to the pumpkin pie... We are going to make a... Getting creative, eh? Butternut squash pie. With... How about that? With coconut. So, we're staying in the squash family here. Butternut Ralph. and coconut. Yep. Two nuts. Uh, we're going to stay in the, the, the family, but we are going to uh, basically use butternut squash in place of the uh, pumpkin puree that we would normally use. Right. So we're going to start with our sugar. We need three quarters of a cup of sugar. One, two, three quarters of a cup. Is it easy to find butternut squash in a can? Well, you know what? I've seen it at a couple of stores, so I don't know if it's a thing, but... Around um, this time of year, I think I you think can it, in the I fall. I think you can. And of you, course, you could make your own, just boil it. And yeah, you could actually, I, I, would, I would peel it or I would cut the butternut squash in half, take out the seeds, roast it in the oven until it's soft, mm -hmm. and then scoop it out and smash it up and you'd have your butternut there you squash. Go. There you right. go. Uh, so we've got three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm going to add one half teaspoon of salt. Then we're going to put our spice in. Now, if you like it spicy, Use pumpkin pie spice. You could use uh, ginger, ginger, cloves. all cloves. We're, I'm just all putting spice. in some cinnamon. Okay, so I'm putting in a teaspoon of cinnamon. We're gonna mix that up. So sugar, salt, cinnamon. Got it. And it goes. Okay. So there's our our sweet stuff. Now let me get a mixing bowl here. And we're going to start with a couple of eggs. Hello. Okay. Whoop. That one cracked fast. We've got one. Did you get most of it in the bowl? I got all of it in, okay. actually. So that was that was good. So we've got two large eggs there, uh, and we're going to beat those now. This is a custard pie, like a pumpkin pie is a custard pie, in that it really works because of the milk and the eggs together. Mm, right, okay. Now, what I really like to do is beat these eggs until they're lemony and, and foamy, okay? Beat the eggs until they're lemony and chiffoni. Yes. To me, I think that makes for a lighter pie filling. So, you see, look at the beautiful color. See yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And we like the pies that are light and not too dense. Right. So, you see, uh, I'm just going to keep going here. We're not whipping them like we're, like you're beating eggs. It's more like we're frothing them. Yes. I want to, I want to see that foam just like that. Okay. That's great. Right there. That's how I like foamy. it. Now, we're going to take our... Butternut squash puree. Which also, like pumpkin, looks to be very wet. Yes, very wet. A lot moist. of water in there. Mm -hmm. And that's all that's in here is just organic butternut squash. So, and it's kind of, it's a little lighter color, I guess, than the pumpkin mm -hmm. is. Right, but, yeah. But beautiful color. Beautiful fall color. Yeah, kind of ochre. Then we're going to put in... Now this is where it differs from the pumpkin pie. We don't use vanilla. Oh, in you pumpkin don't. Pie. Okay. No, but we're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. In this. Okay. Got it. Okay. In a lot of ways, this is going to be a little sweeter of a pie. We're using the same amount of sugar, so I'm going to put. Let me put that in there. Well, why is it going to be sweeter then? Because we're adding coconut. Oh right. And the okay. coconut is sweet. So. Here we're going to just mix together 
our wets for our eggs and our sugar and spice mixture. And the butternut squash. And the butternut squash. Okay. Next. I'm going to do a quick little scrape here. Make sure you get all that good stuff. Yes, we want to get it all Make there. Make sure it's all integrated. Now, before I forget, here it is. I'm going to use a half a cup of coconut in the filling. Okay. Okay. So this is a quarter cup measure. So we're going to put one, two quarters is a half, Ralph, just in case you didn't know. Okay. Okay. So. I'm not good with the numbers. No, he's, <laughs> math isn't his thing, but that's okay. Now I've got a can, 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Is that also to keep it custardy? This is our, yeah, this is our milk. So now this is custard in action here. Our egg mixture, the milk mixture, all coming together. I have the oven preheated to 425 degrees. Okay, 425 okay. oven. We're going to put these pies in here for, uh, oh, maybe about 15 or 20 minutes at 425. Then we're going to take the temperature down to 350 degrees. Earlier I said it was uh, butternut and coconut, two nuts. And I know our friends out there listening were thinking, two nuts, just like Kevin just Ralph. <laughs> Coconut and butternut. So, so this gonna, is going to be fun I'm and unusual. Pour this into the pie shell. I can't wait to try this pie. Okay. So creative. And, and great for fall and having like something a little bit different, but, yeah, but still somewhat on the traditional something side. Something different. It almost seems southern with the uh, sweetness of it. Now I got I got my pumpkin one right there, and I'm going to put that in next. See the difference in the yeah. colors. So what I'm going to do now is carefully hold my breath all right now don't tickle him anybody you know if usually i'll put these on a tray but i'm not doing that this time i'm going to try to do it like so okay there's that it's because you're in a hurry now i'm going to do again this is pumpkin pie you've seen it here on cavalcade and but you're going to do We're gonna put two in one. Yeah, I'm going to Two I'm pies at two. once. Well, you know what? If you're heating the oven up, now you see how this bad, the pumpkin yeah. batter is a little thicker. Uh, if you're going to um, go through the trouble of heating the oven up, you might as well maximize it. Yeah. Right? Kevin's working hard, working fast, because this is what our friend Ed Love used to call switching in the switching kitchen. Switching in the kitchen. Okay. Thanks. So here's our time. pumpkin pie. Um, what I'm going to do with this squash pie the uh, butternut squash pie, is once it starts to set up, once I turn the temperature down in about 15 minutes to 350, I'm going to sprinkle some coconut on, on the top, top of the yes. pie. I'm not going to do it now because it'll no, sink it'll to sink the in. bottom. And okay? you already did put some in the mix. That's right. So this one, and we go into our beautiful Westinghouse Terrace Top Range. In goes our pumpkin pie. Voila. We'll be back making butternut squash coconut okay, Ralph, I'm measuring out another half cup of coconut here because uh, the pies have been in for 15 minutes at 425. We're going to take the temperature down to 350. Okay. But on our, I don't know if you can get it, get down in here. I'm going to try, without getting it all over the oven, or burning your hand, or burning my hand, to sprinkle. So some, you don't you don't recommend taking it out of the. It's too loose still. Oh, I see. I can see it kind of jiggling around. Yeah. Put a little in the middle, and then uh, on, the, on the ends. Uh, okay. There we go. Now we're going to let that go for 45, 50 minutes. Is it going to get toasted on top? It should. Mm, it might sink in a little bit. So our timer went way. off. Our pies have been in at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. So Ralph, remember we did it at 425 for 15. 
Then we turn the oven down to 350 degrees. And sprinkle the coconut sprinkle on. Sprinkle the coconut on the butternut squash pie and then set the timer for 50 minutes. So that's where we're at. We're gonna take a look and you can see. Can people wear oven mitts if they want? Yes, they can. So I'm gonna take this out. Now, I already tried it. See this knife? Yes, it's gotta come out clean, right? Clean That's as a, a whistle. Clean teen. Okay, so let's take the pumpkin out. Look at that crust. Nice and brown. Mm -hmm. Okay, just what we want. That's what we want. Now we're going to do our butternut squash with that. Look at that toasty coconut on the top. So That's it's beautiful. Butternut coconut. And it's still bubbling. Is that from all the moisture in the. Might be. I did a test and we came mm. out clean here I can so smell it, it'll go down as it cools mm -hmm. okay you can smell the toasted coconut and the custardiness of it and what's interesting is now this one's a little burnt so we'll take that off but you have the nice toasted coconut on the top and I don't know if you can see what actually happened is the coconut that was in the batter a lot of it rose, rose to, the to the top, top of the pie interesting and again look at the crust beautiful Yes. Nice and brown, just how we want it. Yeah, we don't want to uh, rob. No, dough. you can look. That's I love using glass pans because you can see how nicely the crust is browned all throughout. So yeah, these pies take a long time to cool, at least a couple cool. hours, and they do need to cool. <clears throat> and we're not going to be able to dig into them till tomorrow. But you know what? They're done, and we'll look forward to. Of course, we always love the pumpkin pie, but our new, our new pie this year is our creation. butternut squash coconut pie. That was a team effort. I yeah. said, jokingly almost, why don't we put coconut in it? And Kevin said, I just got an old recipe book that has that very idea. Yeah, had the same idea except with pumpkin. And they called it a pumpkin nut or pump -co -nut something. Pumpkin nut pie with pumpkin and coconut and. And so we made it work here. With butternut, which is so, still fun. You could even do, you know, just instead of a pumpkin pie and do a butternut squash pie without the coconut if you wanted to just try something a little more traditional. And we say it over and over again that the beautiful thing about cooking is, is how you can be creative and improvise and come up with something special. And we hope we did. Uh, we're going to look forward to digging into that. Yeah. Tomorrow. We had fun making this we one. We sure did, as we always do. And we had real fun knowing that you're here with us, kind of going through the paces of this Learning and having fun as we us. do as well. And we have June Christie in the background. Who we love. And we can't Great wait to music. do and it all again next time. Yep. So you know what? We'll see you next time right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everybody. Bye.